so what's this so-called landscape? I mean, I was pretty blown away. When I really started studying the scientific literature, I was really blown away by this new term, the landscape. You see, throughout history, we've had three options for the existence of the universe, all space, time, matter, and energy. There's the option that it was always here. It's always been here. There was the option that it came into being uh, through random process. It created itself. Or it came into being by God, some intelligent designer, uh, some creator. Okay? Now, the really in the last hundred years since Einstein and all the way through all these observational evidence, we've taken one option off the table the option that it's always been here. Space, time, matter, and energy has been operating. Matter acting on matter for an infinite period of time created everything that we see. That's off the table now. All mainstream scientists, theologians, philosophers generally agree that it all came into being all of a sudden out of some quantum void, some singularity. Uh, some would say 14.7 billion years ago. Others would uh, challenge the numbers. But we all agree that it all came into being. All space, time, matter, energy, all the laws of physics, the mathematical properties, the chemical elements, all rolled into being all of a sudden for no apparent reason in some expansive event. Okay? Now, why is that troubling to many so-called naturalist, materialist, atheist scientists today? Because it all came into being. I don't have infinite space, time, matter to work with to create all the complexity, the fine-tuning, everything that we see. So there's been this movement to bring infinity back on the table again. And this is the so-called landscape. Now the notion here is, is that we are in a process of universes popping in and out of existence multiple universes, parallel universes, quantum universes. The theories are all over the place. And they're proposed, and they're tweaked, and they're proposed again. But it is all an imaginary world. It's all a quantum physical world, a multi-dimensional world. It is faith at its utmost. And so all of these theories of multiverses and parallel universes and quantum fluctuations and voids have all been rolled into this now generally accepted concept of the landscape. This infinite palette of infinite chances at creating the perfect universe that could bring forth human life. It's crazy to me. You propose so many theories, so many tweaks that basically say, we don't even know. These are just total guesses. But if you propose enough of them and you fold them all into a general notion of the quantum landscape that gives us infinity again, then guess what? I don't really have a beginning that I have to deal with of all space, time, matter, and energy. I got infinite time, infinite space, infinite chances again to bring about human life. Now, I think that is the utmost faith statement that I've ever seen. That, that somehow the atheistic scientific establishment has, has, has brought about a brand new term that we are all to accept on faith because the scientific community said so. And yet if I propose God or if I even use the term intelligent design, I am scoffed at as one who believe, believes in flying teapots outside of Pluto somewhere.